Okay, next we're gonna sew the shoulders seam here. Okay, we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So now the back and the front panel, the wrong side facing me, facing up. All right, and I'm gonna use the long tail that I left earlier for sewing, and you can use any method you prefer. Okay, so it's pretty big, so I just want to make sure that you understand what's going on here. So this is my back panel, and this is my front panel. It doesn't matter which panel you choose to be the front or the back because they are the same. So I'm just going to say this is my back panel, and this is my front panel. So right now, this is what my top look like. So this is the back, this is the front, okay? And we're gonna sew this shoulder seam here, okay? On the wrong side. So I'm gonna use the yarn needle for sewing the shoulder. Again, use any method you prefer. Let me zoom in real quick. So I have my yarn needle ready to go here. So the tail that I left earlier is on the front here. And then I just gonna insert my needle into the third chain of the back panel. Fun loop only. I call that fun loop, okay? Into the third chain and then come out into the next stitch, fun loop only. Like that. Bring it out and come to the front insert into the very first stitch here fun loop only and then go out into next stitch fun loop only like that i call that fun loop and then i go back to the back panel insert my needle into the second stitch here fun loop only and come out into the next stitch which is the third stitch fun loop only always i gonna insert into the fun loop and bring it out and then come back to my front panel insert into the second stitch here right here front loop only go out into the next stitch which is the third stitch front loop only like that bring it out and then go to the back panel insert into the third stitch come out into the fourth stitch Fun loop only like that bring it out come to the front panel insert into the third stitch go out into the fourth stitch fun loop only like that go to the back panel insert into the fourth stitch come out into the fifth stitch fun loops only like that Come to the front, insert into the fourth stitch, go out into the fifth stitch, front loops only, like that. Okay, that's what I'm gonna keep sewing for my shoulder, and make sure to make to not sew too tight or too loose. Make sure it's even, whatever method you use. All right, so I'm gonna keep sewing until I reach the end and then I will be back. Oh, before that, let me show you the right side first. So here is the wrong side. Okay, that we just sew. And here is the right side. That's what the right side look like. That's what I like. Okay, yeah, I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end here. Okay, now I sew here till I reach the end here. And next, I'm gonna tie those tail together and then hide the tail. Just tie a couple knots like that and then hide the tail. Nothing fancy, just try to hide the tails. Okay, make sure it's secure and weep all the ends. This one as well. Okay, keep hiding all the tails. And then you're gonna sew the other side here, the other shoulder here, exactly the same. Whatever method you use for this side, you're gonna do the same on this side. 
okay let me show you the right side here is the wrong side that we just saw and here is the right side beautiful I love this method uh, everyone like different so <laughs> it doesn't matter which method you use okay beautiful I love it so much all right so I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other side and I'm gonna weave all my ends at the shoulder here and then next we're gonna sew the side seam okay I will be back okay after we have both shoulder seam and next we're gonna fold it in half okay fold it in half with the right side facing each other and we're gonna sew the side seam uh, on the wrong side okay so right now my top is look like this I already fold it in half and I already sew on one side and then I already crochet around the arm edge on one side because both side is gonna make the same okay so yeah here is the shoulder seam on the wrong side the other shoulder seam on the wrong side okay here is the right side I already show you earlier okay after that I fold it in half so my right side is facing each other all right and then I gonna sew on the side but I leave uh, some space open at the bottom here on the side if you don't want it open you just start sew from the bottom here all the way up till you reach where you mark to be the armpit okay but if you want to do like mine I will tell you exactly how I do it so here I already have the stitch marker here and then stitch marker here I'm gonna turn this side so you can see better so I show you in uh, paper here real quick yeah we're gonna sew on the side here I leave it uh, some space open at the bottom on the side so I sew around here and I leave uh, the hole open for the armhole as well okay I will show you how I place my stitch markers here so at the bottom side here I leave 13 rows open okay 13 rows on each panel all right 13 rows there 13 rows here I leave it open and then I sew from the first stitch marker to the second stitch marker I sew 19 rows 19 rows on each panel together and then I leave 15 rows open for the armhole 15 rows on each panel okay 15 rows here 15 rows there okay so I have 13 rows here I leave it open 19 row or so and 15 rows I leave it open so total of 47 rows because I have total of 47 rows for my top all right and if you don't want to leave uh, the side bottom open here feel free to start sew from the bottom here till you reach where you place to be the armpit all right and if you want bigger armhole you will place the marker lower okay but if you want smaller armhole you will place the stitch marker upper here all right yeah feel free to try it on and whatever you comfortable with that's all important all right and I'll show you how I count it so I'm gonna start count from the bottom here so here is row one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen see I have 13 rows open and I place the marker at the uh, beginning of row 14 that I gonna start sew from there okay so and then I gonna continue counting and 
place the second stitch marker. So here is row 14, right, where I place the stitch marker, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. And I place the second stitch marker at the end of row 32 here. Alright, and then the rest I'm gonna leave it open for my armhole, which is row 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. Okay, see, I have total of 47 rows, and here is the size seam. Alright, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let me zoom in real quick. Okay, here is my first stitch marker, and here the bottom side that I'm gonna leave it open. Before you sew, make sure you will sew on the wrong side. So now my right side is facing each other. So I'm gonna sew on the wrong side. Okay. And I'm gonna insert my needle into the beginning of row 14 here where I place this stitch marker. I will call this the front. I will call that the back. Okay, like that. leave a little bit of tail enough to weave the end later and then come back into the next stitch here and next stitch there and go to the next stitch here and next stitch there like that you cannot see the normal stitches, but you kind of guess where you're going to insert your needle into, but just please make sure both sides is even, okay? Make sure it's lining up. I will show you in a minute. So, next stitch, the front, right here. Next stitch, on the back, right there. Next stitch the front, next stitch the back. I just sew back and forth. Next stitch the front, next stitch the back, like that. Next stitch the front, next stitch the back. Okay, next stitch the front, next stitch the back, next stitch the front, next stitch the back, like that. Okay, let me show you here. So here, I cannot see the normal stitches, right? But whatever you sew, make sure that the end of each row from the back and the front panel is lining up like this. Like the end of row 14 here, 14 here is lining up. The end of row 15 on the back, the end of row 15 on the front is lining up. See, this is row 16, lining up. 17, 17, lining up like that. Okay, so just keep sewing like that, but whatever you sew, just make sure it's uh, both panel are even, are lining up. That's all the matter. I'm going to keep sewing back and forth until I reach the second stitch marker here. Don't sew too tight or too loose. Okay, make sure it's uh, even. <laughs> 
All right. Yeah, I will be back when I reach the end here, which is the second stitch marker. Good luck. Now I sew all the way up till I reach the second stitch marker here, which is the end of row 32. Okay. And then I'm just gonna remove the marker. And now I'm just gonna hide the tail. Tie a knot. And keep hiding the tail. Okay, make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done with the side seam. Here's what this look like on the wrong side. And also you're gonna hide this tail as well when we start sewing. Okay, and here is the right side. Okay, and then next you can leave it like this or you can crochet around the armhole edges. So I'm gonna crochet around the armhole edges here. I already did on the other side. Let me show you here. But I'm gonna crochet on the right side, okay? So here's what it look like at the armhole edge. Well, here is the wrong side, okay? So here is the right side. Okay, if you want to do that, keep watching video and I will show you how to do that. Okay, if you want to crochet around the armhole edges, you need to turn the top right side out. Okay, we're going to crochet on the right side. So right now, the right side of the top is facing me. Here is my armhole. Okay, I'm going to crochet around that. So to do that, we're going to add a new yarn right into the armpit here, right there. Or you can add right into the space, whatever you prefer. So I insert into that armpit at the corner and bring the new yarn out. And then chain one. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch. Okay, and then we're going to crochet into the end of each row. So I will call that space instead. Okay, so in each space, which is the end of each row, I'm going to make single crochet, pico, and single crochet all into the same space. So this is the armpit where I just add new yarn. So this next space is going to be my first space. Okay, so we're going to start with the single crochet first. So that's going to be the first space. So insert the hook there, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loop. That is my first single crochet. And now I'm going to make the uh, pico start with chain three. One, two, and three. And then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here. So this is the first chain that we did, but I insert into the little bump right there. I hope you can see right here. Little bump, insert the hook, pull up a loop and pull it through. That is pico. And then we're gonna make one more single crochet into the same space. Insert the hook into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loop. This is what it look like. See, I have single crochet, pico, and single crochet all into the same space. Like that. And then move on to the next space. I weave the end at the same time. I work over that end. You don't have to do that. You can weave the in later. So yeah, anyway, next space is going to be this one. 
start with single crochet so insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loop and then pico chain three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here set the hook pull up a loop and pull through oops okay that is the pico and make one more single crochet into the same space insert the hook into same space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loop here's what this look like so far and then next space make a single crochet and then pico start with three chain one two and three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did so here is the first chain right and here is the little bump okay so after i make three chain i insert the hook into the little bump on the back of the first chain that i did insert the hook pull up a loop and pull through and make one more single crochet into the same space right here there you go just repeat that next space make a single crochet and then pickle chain three slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that I did right here set the hook pull up a loop and pull through and make one more single crochet into the same space like that same pattern next space make a single crochet and then pickle chain three slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here insert the hook pull up a loop and pull through and one more single crochet like that show you one more time so this is gonna be my next space insert the hook pull up a loop and make a single crochet and then pickle chain three slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here insert the hook pull up a loop and pull it through make one more single crochet like that see here is what this look like so far you're gonna continue repeating the same pattern so in each space which is the end of each row you're gonna make single crochet pico and single crochet all into the same space repeat the same pattern in each space around okay when you reach the shoulder seam here ignore that seam we're not gonna crochet anything into that seam you're gonna go into this space before that seam and then when you're done with this one move on to the next space here like that okay crochet around till you reach the end here and i will meet you guys back in good luck okay after i crochet around my armhole edge and now i reach the end here which is the uh, armpit area and after uh, i'm done with the last space i already cut the yarn here and then i'm just gonna pull the yarn out like so here's what this look like okay next i'm just gonna hide the tail i bring my yarn needle I'm going to insert into the side seam here, uh, right at the uh, armpit, right here. Insert the hook there. Oh, sorry, <laughs> insert the needle there to bring inside like that. And then hide the tail on the wrong side. Like that. And then I'm going to tie a knot. then keep hiding the tail okay make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done and you need to hide the tail the other tail as well when we start right here okay okay so you're gonna do exactly the same to the other side the other armhole and I already have my both side crochet so I'm good with the armhole edges and next you can leave it like this and weave all the ends and you're done 
or you can crochet around the side seam sorry the side uh, bottom that you leave it open as well so for me I crochet around that side that I leave it open okay I use the same technique that I use for my armhole edge for the side opening okay I already have this side crochet which is the front and the back so I start at the bottom here at the right side uh, front side crochet all the way up till I reach where I start sew the side seam and then I'm not gonna cut the yarn I continue turn my work and continue crochet the other side opening which is the back panel so the front and the back panel I use the same yarn okay so see I go around here go up and go around back down here like that and then I cut the yarn I'm not gonna crochet around the bottom okay I just gonna crochet around the side edges so next if you want to do like mine I show you how to do on this side okay let's get started okay for the side edges we also gonna crochet on the right side okay so yeah my top is right side facing me right now and then I gonna add a new yarn right into this corner at the corner right here bring the new yarn pull up a loop and chain one the chain one doesn't count it is stitch and then into each space which is the end of each row I gonna make single crochet pico and single crochet it's the same method that I use for my armhole edges okay so this is gonna be my first space I gonna make single crochet so insert the hook into the first space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loop and then now I gonna make pico which is chain three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that I did right here oops so here is the first chain and here is the little bump right here insert the hook there pull up a loop and pull through like that and then make one more single crochet into the same space insert the hook into the same space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops like that okay and next space do exactly the same make a single crochet and then pickle chain three slip stitch into the first chain into the back loop right here set the hook pull up a loop and pull through and then make one more single crochet into the same space like that I'll show you a couple more times I just weave this in at the same time as well <laughs> so yeah next space make a single crochet first and then pico chain three and slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that I did right here set the hook there pull up a loop and pull it through and make one more single crochet into the same space and then next space here make a single crochet and then pico which is chain three slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that I did right here insert the hook there pull up a loop and pull through make one more single crochet into the same space like that okay so you're just gonna keep making uh, one single crochet pico and one single crochet all into the same space the space is the end of each row okay keep crocheting that till you reach this corner here where we start sew the side seam right here and then don't cut the yarn yet we're gonna go to the back panel and crochet around the back panel side edge okay so yeah I will meet you guys back in when you reach this corner edge okay I crochet until I reach the corner here where we start sew the side seam here okay and next we're not gonna cut the yarn we're gonna turn our work to the back panel and then
crochet around the back side edge okay so to do that I'm just gonna turn so we're gonna so uh sorry we're gonna crochet around this side edge okay so I'm gonna insert my hook into that loop and see that that is the last space for the front side edge and then we come to the back side again doesn't matter which side you should be the front or the back they are the same so yeah anyway so here is the side seam and then we're just gonna move on to the next space on the back panel here so do exactly the same single crochet and then pickle which is chain three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here so the hook pull up a loop and pull it through and make one more single crochet into the same space like that see here is the side seam here is the side seam okay so next space do exactly the same make a single crochet and then pickle which is chain three one two and three and slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here insert the hook there pull up a loop oops sorry insert the hook pull up a loop and pull it through and then make one more single crochet into the same space like that and just repeating that uh, next space make a single crochet and then pickle which is chain three slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here so the hook pull up a loop pull it through and then make one more single crochet into the same space like that okay i'll show you one more time next space right here make a single crochet and then pickle which is chain three slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did and then make one more single crochet into the same space like that it's the same pattern here is what this look like so far so you are just gonna keep crochet into this side edge until you reach this corner and then I will be back okay and yeah I'll see you then okay now I reach the end here and then next I just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end cut the yarn pull the yarn out and then I just gonna weave the end I'm pretty sure you guys know how to weave the end already so I'm not gonna show you guys that so see we start crochet from that side we go all around to this side right it's very easy and then you're gonna do the other side exactly the same so I have both sides already crochet here so yeah and then next you can leave it like this and you're done or you can crochet around the neck hole edge here so for me I just gonna make a single crochet around the neck hole edge you don't have to do that if you don't want to and if you want to use the same method that you use for um, the armhole edges you can do that as well whatever you prefer okay for me I cannot just single crochet all right so again we're gonna crochet on the right side so my top is the right side and into this corner here I just gonna this corner here I gonna make a single crochet I mean add the new yarn first sorry <laughs> so I insert the hook there pull up a loop and chain one and then I gonna make a single crochet into the same stitch that I add the new yarn so right here insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loop and then I just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch so next stitch here set the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through okay and single crochet into the next like that just keep making single crochet and I weave this in at the same time as well so I work over that end so like that see you also can weave that in later whatever you prefer oops 
okay keep making one single crochet into each stitch and then when you reach this shoulder seam into the double crochet stitch here I call that space I'm gonna make three double crochet into that space and also three double crochet into next space as well I'm not gonna do anything in the shoulder seam I'm just gonna skip that seam okay and then the other side gonna make single crochet into each stitch around okay so don't worry I will be back when I reach this corner and then make the single crochet into the first space with you okay now I reach this shoulder here and then next into the double crochet rows I call that space I'm gonna make three single crochet in there okay So this is the side seam, okay? This is the double crochet row, the end of the last row. So yeah, I'm gonna make three single crochet in there. Insert so the hook there, pull up a loop, make the first single crochet, second single crochet, and third single crochet, all into the same space. And then we're not gonna do anything at the side seam, we're gonna uh, move on to the next space right here make three single crochet in there one two and three like that and then we're gonna crochet one single crochet into each stitch around like when we start this stitch right here Single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next. Just keep doing that into each stitch. Okay, here's what this looks like so far. And then you're gonna crochet around, and when you reach the shoulder here, you're gonna do exactly the same when you do this side. Okay, which is three single crochet into each space so you just have two spaces here one space on each panel okay right here all right and then here is gonna be the end where we start at the new yarn in there and I will meet you guys back in good luck okay now I'm at the end here I crochet around here already and next I just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end Cut the yarn and pull the yarn out. Bring my yarn needle. And then I'm gonna insert into the first stitch that we did, first single crochet there. And then I'm just gonna insert back into the same stitch. Uh, the last stitch, sorry, where the yarn come from, the tail come from. Bring it back there into that V. And bring it in, so it's go inside. Oh, like that. Go inside. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to hide the tail. Nothing fancy, just try to hide my tail. I'm pretty sure you guys have to do that. Okay, yeah. Make sure it's secure and then trim the tail and you're done. And weave all the ends and you're done. Yay! It's very big. Let me move camera real quick here. Yay! Congratulations! You did it! It's beautiful. Let me show you here real quick. This is my neck hole. And this is the shoulder seam, and this is the other shoulder seam. This is the armhole and armhole edge. Beautiful. And this is the other armhole. And the body. Beautiful stitches. I love it. And here is the bottom. And here is the side. That I left it open and the side edge 
I have to weave those in. <laughs> and this is the other side. Beautiful. I hope you enjoy making this project. If you do, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And if you think this video is helpful and if you enjoy watching this video and making this project, please share to your friends. It's helped me out a lot. And I appreciate everyone's support and all the comments that you guys leave in the leave for me. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy to see it. Yeah, thank you so much and thanks for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.